Hello. Rainbow Kitten Surprise released a song yesterday, and I thought it would be fun to listen to it with you. I want to listen to it, and I want to subject you to listening to it. And if someone on the internet, one person, just one person, finds this video, discovers Rainbow Kitten Surprise, and it changes their life, my mission is accomplished. All I need is one view, and that could be you. So, let me jump in and play the song. We love guitar. Drop, stop, and roll, and baby, knock, knock it on your door. You never home. Rainbow Kitten Surprise makes such diverse Life's music if you listen to their discography, but you know it's a Rainbow Kitten Surprise song from the rip beautiful vocals by Ella. Oh my goodness. Uh-huh. That's what I'm saying to this song. <laughs> uh-huh. I like that part a lot. I think that part's gonna pop off. I think that was the chorus, and I'm very here for it because it's like all the way through, super chill. Little, little, little pickup. This feels like definitely a Rainbow Kitten Surprise version of a hype song. Because I feel like most of their music is fairly chill and sad. And this one doesn't make me feel like very... It doesn't make me feel happy. It doesn't make me feel sad. It's like somewhere in the middle. Very neutral. But I kind of like that. There's the build. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Where are you going to take me with this build? Okay. Oh, this is going to pop off at the live show like crazy. If you have not seen Rainbow Kitten Surprise live, I know their music seems super chill, but they pop off live. It was a spiritual experience for your boy. And they're bringing me back to the... Uh-huh. Party's over. Uh-huh. I don't have the lyrics yet available to me. I'm sure they're extremely sad. But this, like I said, does feel like a more neutral song because Rainbow Kid and Surprise, typically very, very, very sad music. And that's why we love Rainbow Kid and Surprise. You want to get in your feels real quick? Go listen to Seven and Mary. It's going to wreck your life. I like this song a lot. I would give it a 8.5 out of 10. I think that this is a song that I'm going to listen to repeatedly. I think it has a lot of replay value. That's my opinion. My video, my opinion. But if this is a taste of what the album has to hold, very exciting. If this is just a random loose single that does not go onto a project and they're teasing me, I am going to cry because I need Rainbow Kitten Surprise to cry for different reasons. <laughs> I've said it before, but I've not said it yet on the internet. So internet, here you go. I feel like 2023 could be the 2016 of music. I just really feel like there's so many good projects. A lot of artists have been waiting and reworking and getting the best possible product because of what happened in 2020. You haven't seen a lot of releases. Some people have put stuff out. But the artists that I've been waiting on, I feel like are all coming out this year. And I am very excited for that fact. So, this song is called Drop, 
Stop and Roll by Rainbow Kid and Surprise. If you enjoyed it, you should definitely go stream it. You should share it with a friend. Get this song to pop off. I know that I was really excited because on TikTok, they had one of their songs, like a sped up version of it, go viral. And I was really, really happy for the band. I know a lot of people are like, oh no, like I don't want everyone else to know about the music, but I want these people to get paid. I want everyone to know about Rainbow Kid and Surprise. I then I can be that hipster person who's like, oh yeah, I knew them before everyone else knew them because it makes me feel cool and more validated. So if you go tell people about it and then they become popular, then I become validated and then everybody wins in this scenario because now you have beautiful music, I feel cool, and Rainbow Kid and Surprise gets paid. Go stream it. I'm sure it's out on everything. If there's a video for it, oh my goodness, that'd be so exciting too. But, low. Thank you for obliging me if you did make it to the end of the video which is probably a very short video but I just I really love music and I'm very excited about music that I like and I just want to talk about it and share it with people and hopefully spread it because a little bit a little bit about me because now it's going to be about me for a moment I grew up very very sheltered to where I was only allowed to listen to Christian music (laughs) which you know not great Sorry if you are a Christian artist or enjoy Christian music. It is, I mean, if we're being honest with ourselves, it's it's not the best. Since I've been able to choose the music that I listen to, I have just like gone and like tried to learn about every artist I possibly can. So if you do have any recommendations of artists that are popular, but I probably not heard of. And if you're thinking, oh no, this artist is pretty big and he's probably heard of them. I probably haven't because I'm still learning. I just found out about Pink Floyd like a year ago and oh my goodness fantastic time david bowie oh my gosh i yeah i'm i'm all about learning about new music exciting things i think that any music has some kind of value to it it's art it's an expression the fact that someone was able to write down words put accompanying music put it out there express themselves i think that that's really cool and i think there is it's far and in between that there is absolutely terrible music. There is absolutely terrible music, but I think it's far and in between. So if you have any suggestions, let your boy know. I love to hear new music. Um, And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I might do more stuff like this. This is fun for me. I really enjoy chatting about music and sharing music with people. I want to be known as like the guy who has good music taste. So that is my... uh, my goal in life and I've exposed myself so potentially I won't be able to reach that height but low here we are so till the next video